Hello there and welcome to part 9 of this tutorial series in which we are going to cover two interesting topics. The first one being how to follow and unfollow users and the second one being extracting user related data such as their location, um, the number of followers that they have, the number of Twitter profiles that they are following, the description, screen name and so on. And we will see what is actually possible to extract. So let's get started. Hopefully this tutorial would not take that much time, probably like 10 minutes. Um, and what we will do is we will start by defining the two functions. So one to follow users and another one to unfollow users. And in order to do that, all we need is their screen name. So in my case, it would be K underscore Ristovsky in order to follow my profile. And then api.create friendship and in brackets a screen name so if we have the screen name and if we actually run this function it would follow that particular user if we want to unfollow again we need the same screen name and instead of creating friendship we're going to destroy friendship now if you have been following the previous tutorials you know that when we use these two functions scrape followers or friends of a certain twitter profile we were storing the id and here we don't need the id of twitter profile but the screen name so we need to kind of convert the id into screen name and actually to some extent this is also extraction of data but let's give it a try so first what i will do is i will scrape all the friends or all the people that i'm following and then for every one of them, I'll just create a for loop uh, to extract the screen name. And I would not be following because there's a limit on that, but we will get into that in a bit. So for I in range LAN of friends. And what I'm doing here is first I'm counting how many people am I following, or in this case, me, but you can have any user here, for example, someone that you admire, maybe you like to follow the same Twitter profiles as him or her. And then for every one of them, so for every person that that user is following, what we need to do is first get the user. User equals, actually, let's just get the screen name. Later on, we can take a look into the user. Screen name equals API get user and then friends I dot screen name. So for every friend in our list, we're iterating through them. We're getting the user and then we will, we're only extracting the screen name. So I will print the screen name, maybe also I just to make sure that we have all of them. But if you follow the screen name here, this is actually all that you need to follow those people or those Twitter profiles. Keep in mind that there's a limit of I think it's around 30 or maybe exactly 30 profiles that you can follow one after another. So if you are scraping someone that has a lot of friends or a lot of people that are being followed by that profile, then you might want to do this uh, with some time in between, like for example, time.sleep for five seconds or something like that. Of course, you need to import time as well. Um, so what we're going to do next is let's print this just to make sure that it works. I'm not going to follow again all of them. Let's see. So the first part was scraping the tweet ID. So we have 79 people or Twitter profiles. So starting from zero. And then for every one of them, you can see the screen name. So it should go again up to 78. And if that is the case, then this is complete. So that's good. So we have the IDs and we have successfully converted them into screen names. So this API.getUser, this is actually the key function when it comes to extracting user related data. So I'm going to comment this part out. I don't want to run that again. Instead, I'll create define maybe user data as a separate function. And here we can pass either screen name, which we already have, or we can also pass the profile ID, which is something that we also have. So 
maybe it's good to add a comment so screen name and twitter profile id are valid inputs now once we have that user would be equal to api.get user screen name and let's print user so let's print what is it what are the information that we get back when we are getting this user user data again i'll use my personal profile for this and let's see so there are 135 lines of information as you can see it starts with id then we have the id as a string then the name screen name location there's a lot of information here um, what i have noticed that is being used the most is location so sometimes you would like to know where certain users are located at but keep in mind that that's a free field so they can just enter anything it doesn't have to be a valid um, city or country then the second part is the description so sometimes you might want to take a look into that but the most important ones are friends and followers count so these two fields and let's see how we can extract that so before what we did was once we got user by providing the id we just used dot and then screen name and we can do exactly the same so instead of printing user we can print friends count or we can also do the same for followers count or we can also do the same for dot description and all of these we can extract and store or whatever it is that we need so i'm trying to give you all the tools that you need to create your own twitter bot and maybe what you would like to do later on is interact with a certain tweet only if the user has over a certain amount of followers it should be followers or maybe if the user has a description i don't know if that makes any sense but maybe some reason you have a cert or maybe reach out to people that have no description and offer them a certain service i don't know but it's up to you to think of a use case and apply that these two are very useful when you're interacting with tweets as oftentimes if if a twitter profile has like almost no followers or maybe like very very low amount of them uh, maybe it's not worth interacting with um, that profile or the tweet that includes my profile as I'm also not very active. So if you're interacting with my Twitter profile, the chances of getting a response are not that high. So maybe you would like to set this to a certain threshold. But let's just make sure that it works. So user data and then k response. So as you can see, we have the friends. So the number of profiles I'm following, something that we already saw, followers, and then a description. So that would be all regarding this tutorial. I think there will be one more video for this Twitter um, series and then we'll continue with something new. Thank you for following until the very end. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Till next time.